and then I've spent my entire month salary in one day. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? So about a year ago, I fell in love with someone called London. So after a year as a German in London, I thought it was time to do the London tag. All of you are tagged as well, and in particular, Yasmina and Gendre, because they are also German girls in London, and it'd be super interesting to see their London tags. So let's go. Number one is my favorite place for breakfast in London. Now that is very easy. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen about 10 or 20 pictures of the Breakfast Club. I love this place for its variety, for its really cool hipster vibe, for its food and its cocktails and just kind of like the happiness it brings and because it has a secret cocktail bar that you enter through a fridge. So that is just awesome. Number two is my favorite boots or super drag. Now that is a weird question. I don't really know what that has to do with London, but there is only one that comes to my mind and that is the boots in Covent Garden because it's open longer than most of the other boots around the area. So sometimes I had some emergen uh, emergency visits to that boots. So that's really the only one that comes to mind. Number three is which one is my favorite beauty haul? And I don't have one. So I like makeup and I like perfume and body lotion, but I'm not really someone who goes to like a beauty haul and indulges themselves. So I'm gonna change that to what is my favorite department store and that is without a doubt Harrods. And that is because I am a tourist at heart, but I'm kind of like second place is Liberty of London because I also really enjoy that one. Next one is what is my favorite area for everything? Now that is a very easy question because if you've been watching my videos for a while you do know that I live in Camden Town and Camden Town and Camden around surroundings is my favorite area for everything because everything I need and want is here it's close and it's about I don't know 10 minutes close to Oxford Circus at the center it's close to East London it's close to all the beautiful parks in the north and it has a cool vibe it has a cool food market it has rooftop bars and cool people and I love it here Number five is which one is my favorite park for walks and again very easy question for me to answer it is Primrose Hill. I've done loads of videos about Primrose Hill so you'll find the links below or probably on the site somewhere and it's very closely followed by Hampstead Heath because in Hampstead Heath they have lakes that you can swim in for free and what is for free in these days so both of them really beautiful really close to my house and very calming and Next question. Do I have any tips for the tube? Yes, I do. There's kind of like three of my favorite ones that come to my mind. So number one is really easy. When you have your Oyster card on the card reader, don't move it, just keep it still and it will read it quicker. I know people are like, Ugh, and then it fails. So just keep it still. Um, number two is look out for really funny marketing stickers on the kind of like stickers that you see in the tube so sometimes bars or restaurants they've done some sneaky marketing ideas and they've just put a sticker that says something funny instead of the tube station it will say the name of the restaurant or something so that always kind of like makes me smile and the last one it's probably the most important one when the tube is full don't stand by the door stand in the walkway so kind of like you know if there's people sitting here and people sitting here stand in the middle because first of all no one does that so you have more space and second of all as soon as somebody gets up you'll get a seat instead of being squeezed by the door so number seven is what is my what would be my perfect day out in london now it's really difficult to get that down to just kind of one day because every day is perfect in its own way that sounds really cheesy but it just is but i would say having breakfast at the breakfast club because it's just really cool and you know you'll get kind of like started for the day because their portions are quite big most of the time and then I would say a kind of morning shopping trip or early day shopping trip to Carnaby Street and then having lunch at one of the food markets. So either Borough Market or Camden Town Food Market or maybe one in East London. So, you know, kind of having food there. And then in the afternoon, I would say go and visit a museum or a gallery because there's some really cool ones around, maybe an exhibition. So last year I went to see the Alexander McQueen exhibition in the Victoria and Albert Museum, I think it's called, and that blew my mind. So that was fantastic, fantastic. And I think it only cost like 12 pounds or something. So if you can find a really cool 
exhibition, you should do that in the afternoon. Then you should have dinner at Dishum. So uh, all of the restaurants I mentioned, I put the links below. It's kind of like an Indian cool type restaurant. Sometimes you have to queue. So if the queue is too long, you can try Franco Manca. I've spoken about it a lot of times, so that's my favorite restaurant, but either Dishum or Franco Manca. And then I would finish the day with having cocktails in Sketch on, uh, I think it's Conduit Street, but it's close to Regent Street, and then party the night away in Village Underground in London. And then I've spent my entire month salary in one day. What is my favorite museum or gallery? Well, it has to be Victorian Albert Museum, like I just said, because they normally have the coolest exhibitions. But I also really love M&M's World. Not. <laughs> what is my London secret? Now, I did think about that for a very long time. And I think I probably shared most of them with you, because as soon as I discover something, I'm always like, you guys should go there. But there is one that I haven't shared with you, but it's a bit, I don't know, depends if you like this kind of music. So this is a jazz bar and it's not really a secret because everybody knows it but it's just quite hidden away. So it's called 606 and they play jazz music there and I find it's a little bit of a secret because when you go there, so you have to book in advance online of course, but when you go there you have to kind of knock on a really dodgy door and you would never guess that this is a, you know, a jazz club that is buzzing and you know, where you can have like loads of fun and cool people downstairs. So I always felt really secretive when I went to visit this, so I guess that would be my London secret. And number 10 is, what is my favorite bar or club in London? So I have said this a few times before, it has to, has to be Village Underground, just because the sound in there is fantastic. And if you are a fan of electronic music, I really recommend for you to go there. It's never too expensive. It's a really cool kind of stone, half round building and it just makes the sound sound really 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 amazing and they have really cool events so they have Sunday events they have kind of like normal weekend events but then during the week they also sometimes have some I don't know workshops that you can do so Zoe London a youtuber I watch a lot um, she was there a few weeks ago to do kind of like I think a hairstyling event and to play some music so it's quite buzzing during the day and also at night and it has just for me the best music so yes that is my favorite bar or club in London. You are tagged, please do a London tag video as well and let me know when you have. Even if you're not living in London, even if you've just been here for a week or two, I just wanna kinda of like share the love for London with this video because I know that a lot of you, you know, have fallen in love with this city as well, just like me. And I think that's it for this week. Thanks so much, Fertha. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. Instagram and Snapchat are probably my favorite two at the moment so if you want to follow me there that'd be awesome and otherwise i will see you next week goodbye